Welcome back to Full Circle with Mikali. How are you guys doing? Remember, we are looking for three winners this morning. And each winner is going to be walking away with a branded Full Circle with Mikali cup and a notebook as well. So three winners, branded cup and a notebook. And all you have to do is tell us, uh, tell me, us, um, how well you know Full Circle. So when do we have a fitness on the show? When do we have relationships on the show? And when do we have a DJ on the show? That is very easy especially if you've been paying attention and you've been watching the show uh hey full circle erin from machaco's fitness tuesdays uh, relationship wednesday and dj's on friday dj on friday relationship on tuesday fitness on wednesday uh, but you don't leave your name or where you're watching us from dj sadik comes on fridays uh, where you have gospel guests artists it's jerry from fika oh yeah i okay well that was the same sms cool Jerry, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, she left her name there. I'm Winnie from Imaradaima Relationship Wednesday, DJ Friday, Fitness Tuesday. Um, good morning, Wicks. Um, uh, Onasema, DJ Friday, Tuesday, Skola, Friday to... Um, what is this day? On, on Wednesday, we have relationships. What language do you guys write? Hi, Wicks. I'm Kimi from Narok. I got the answers. Relationship is on Mondays. Hi. <laughs> Fitness is on Tuesdays, DJ. DJ on the on, on Friday. Uh, good morning, Mikali. I hope you I will be lucky and selected for the wind relationships on Wednesday, Tuesday workouts and fitness and DJ or and artists they come on Friday. So keep sending that in triple one triple four triple one. That is our SMS line. And Switch TV K E, that is Instagram. Switch TV Kenya is our Facebook page. Mikali Mary is my personal IG page, okay? So go right ahead and do that. We will be checking that by the time we come to the end of the show. Now I know I've been talking about this. I'm passionate about women out there and the lady who's <laughs> my guest now is super well if i thought i am well she is over the top and not just women women who are in business she is the ceo of women in business she has many first her titles from here to timbuktu and back i think she's become a personal friend now <laughs> mary welcome to the show thank you i'm actually looking at your shoe oh my I hope god I'll have they, it. they're dope right <laughs> mm-hmm do you want to show my shoe? Maria? Yes. There You're you looking <laughs> awesome. Huh? Mary Muzoni. <laughs> Thank you. Karibu sana. Thank you. You're Thank doing you, amazing, amazing Thank things for you, women namesake. in this country. And it's not a passion that just started the other day. You've always like been driven to make a difference in all the spaces that you find yourself in. And those spaces come with different titles that oh, yeah. you will now mention. And this wow. is your camera. <laughs> You didn't see that one going there. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. So <laughs> I, I, okay. I, well, I think I, I can mention the very newest and maybe the very basic. Okay. But uh, one of my main titles is uh, I am a family person and I am a mother. Yes. And the second one, I am a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. I run St. Petrock Premier School. And the next one is... Um, the president has recognized me also with the Zalendo Award, yeah. which I greatly appreciate. That happened earlier this year? Last was it year. last year? Mid last year. Mid last year? Yes. That was after we spoke? I no, that was so. after. That was after uh, yes, the last yes. interview oh. we had. Oh, my so goodness. Oh, yeah, because uh, that must have been... Early. Okay, cool. Yes. That was yes, mid last year. It must year. be after we spoke. After we spoke. Uh, yes. So while you are away. While I was away. <laughs> Good things are happening. <laughs> Women in business. Our good president, <laughs> <laughs> His Excellency, who yes. recognized the women in business, and particularly yes. myself, yeah, for the good work that we have been able to achieve. Uh, back in 2017, I had also been recognized by the Council of Governors. Yes. Because I am a devolution warrior. I believe in devolution. I believe in the systems, the devolved systems of government that were created and entrenched in the constitution because I myself, I am one person who believed in that and went all the way to Embu and created St. Petro Premier School, which now has become a brand and a good school for yes. everyone. Uh, of course, I have also been recognized by um, uh, given a South African award for the best um, East African business and um, 
um, women in business for the East Africa and of course for Kenya. Uh, and many other. <laughs> <laughs> told you guys, I couldn't possibly <laughs> do that. I may not I mention all of them. All of them <laughs> because yes. you have been doing this for a while and uh, women in business has put you in, uh, uh, in platforms and spaces that probably anything else wouldn't have. Your passion for them and how you fight strongly for the women. How did that come about? I think one of the things that I have to mention is um, the challenges of women who are doing business yes. are basically the same. And don't be lied by anybody that the mamamboga or the person selling the kiosk and the corporate, the top corporates have different uh, challenges. Mm -hmm. And across the, the countries, across the, um, yeah, the continents, the challenges are purely almost the same. Yeah. Apart from the degree. Okay. They vary. My issues could be deeper or of a bigger magnitude than the person who is down there at the bottom of the pyramid. Because possibly I'm looking at maybe expanding uh, my school. So I need financing. Yeah. Uh, that mamamboga there is looking at expanding her kiosks. And the, 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 the amount of money probably that she's looking for is slightly a little but all of us are looking for financing that's true you know if we are looking for networking it's one and the same you want to get a network that is a little mm -hmm. above what you're doing or your scope or your circle yeah you know so um the push to start women in business is to ensure that all these challenges are put in one stop at a one-stop shop okay. whereby if you walk in through that door you will walk out knowing that you can get your market linkages, you can get your policy issues and, and, and be linked with offices that um, can be able to sort you out in mm -hmm. that. You can be able to network and credible networks because networks is not just walking into a hotel and meeting somebody and exchanging cards. No, yeah. it's about relationships. Mm -hmm. It's about intertwining you and ensuring that you are connecting in business yeah and 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 of course there's also the issue of uh, ensuring that it, there's mentorship you know that the startups are picking up really fast yeah uh, this morning i was looking at what are those uh startup um businesses that yeah. maybe women, women could can start get into or women can get into yeah and it's very interesting because some of the things that you can start even while at home are quite basic okay. proofreading you know oh you can goodness. just start can telling me that uh, bring your documents i'll be proofreading for you yes. instead of me correcting my letters on my desk you can be doing that and i pay you yeah if you're an accountant bookkeeping how many people, especially women, have, have credible and um, bookkeeping um, and, and, and management skills mm. or, or, you know? So if you have the skill, yes. show up and let people know that I can be able to do one, two, three. Yes. Give me a chance, mm. you know? So those are critically the issues that, that pushed me to starting the women in business. Mm -hmm. And looking at it, that majority of the women in this country are in the informal sector. That's true. Yet they are running businesses. Mm -hmm. Even the ones you see with very big shops, sometimes it's just written Mary Mwikali. Yes. But it's not registered anywhere. That's it's true. basically informal. So the process is also something that women in business will help me recognize. Absolutely. Why am I not getting the funds? Where do I? Because they keep talking about all these monies that are put aside for the women and the youth. How then do I access? What documentations Absolutely. do I need? Absolutely. And um, I always say for you to become a good and a credible businesswoman, the first step is to become compliant. Okay. It is not become, I don't know, uh, strong. Mm -mm. Uh, no. Those are adjectives <laughs> that are addendums. <laughs> become compliant. Yes. Start by registering your company. That is where you start your star. Okay. A first star. Register your business name. It's only 900 shillings That's through eCitizen. Yeah. It's not more than that. And you'll just go through your 
ecitizen.com.co.ke mm. you register with your id of course i'm expecting that if you want to do business you must have an id yes then if you're in business we must get your id your id is the business name or the company name mm -hmm. that is your id in business oh, wow. that's how we identify you okay. we don't identify you as we can mm -mm. if you Mary <laughs> Mugali Mutua <laughs> yes and my id number if you want to identify me today call mm -hmm. me st petrock premier school mm. that i will understand yes. the language of business okay so uh, at the end of the day for women who are shy because those are some of also the challenges that women go through then we are able to take them through in the office and you're taken through the procedures of starting a company, the procedures of getting other uh, compliant documentations and, and any other issue, legal issue that you may want to go through because some of our sectors are, we have legal, women who are, are in legal, we have women who are in HR and we have those committees within women in business. Again, our vast uh, reach throughout the country of 1.2 million women, we are able to reach up to the grassroots, up to the woman who is at there, at uh, Trokana, Moyale, mm. Mombasa, mm. Meru, Kirinyaga, and all that. Yes. So you do not have an excuse that I cannot start a business. You only need somebody probably to to remind you that you have the power, you have the idea, you only need maybe just a little push. It may not even be money. That's true. Yes. We are held back most of the times as women um, by sort of like fear of, you know, I don't want to get into this. It's a boy thing. It's a man mm. thing. Mm. I'm able to feed my family and yes. all of that. Do you have then uh, education, empowerment uh, platforms uh, for these women as well to just show them that you can be more, you can do better. There are opportunities here and there. Absolutely. We have a lot of capacity building programs okay. and especially across the country mm -hmm. because we have also partnered with larger mm -hmm. agents to ensure that we are able to cascade down products that we as women in business do not have because we are a platform. Mm -hmm. For instance, if I want to ensure that a woman knows about pension, maybe you're in employment and you're still in business mm -hmm. you know want to know about pension we are in partnership with county pension fund ah, okay. you know so we bring the women together we ensure that they understand very many times you see even in our whatsapp groups every day you're being added to a death something somebody has died you you people want you to chip in money but how long can you do that yeah we introduce these people to companies, larger companies like, like the County Pension Fund, mm -hmm. which has the product, which will ensure that you're able to be covered. You have some insurance. You can pay maybe 500 per year, 1500 per year, 10,000 per, per, per year, and, and, and maybe pension you can be paying every other month, mm -hmm. you know. So at the end of the day, if COVID hits you or yeah. strikes us again yeah. god forbid yeah. we do not see most of our businesses closing up like we did mm. you can be covered with very little as little as possible yeah most of the time and and then then go to the gentleman who was here yes. is when we do a lot of impulse buying That's true. because we think the money we have is not enough mm. but assuming that 500 that you're throwing every other day you can put it in a pension and accumulates within a period of time at the end of the year you can be able to take your christmas properly or at the end of your your term when, where you're employed you can be able to to go home comfortably and yes. start a business yeah. you know and um, also market linkages mm -hmm. we are in um, I, I think i've mentioned this before because this is a program we've ran since last year with mm -hmm. bitco africa yes those women who have large uh, chunks of land like one one acre or they are about or family land mm -hmm. then they can be able to get into contractual farming with the uh, sunflower soya oh, and bamboo okay. Okay. Bamboo takes three years mm -hmm. to grow. Yes. Soya takes three months. Mm -hmm. 
a sunflower takes three months. Yes. Uh, if 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 I'm I'm if, correct yeah. on that. Mm -hmm. So you're able to to get the market instantly. You know. Yes. If you're on the contract with with women in business and Bidco, you're a member of women in business. You you get the contract with Bidco. Once you harvest your sunflower, you don't need to go looking for market. Because you, even when you were planting, you yes. read, you had already you market. already yes you had already market. Yes. Also merchandising, and this is something that happened last year. Okay. And it's still continuing. Mm -hmm. uh, Bitco was was good to us, and we negotiated for lower rates, slightly a slight margin in terms of uh, where you uh, buying the um, products, if it is the oils. If you have a shop, then you can buy the Bitco products. Mm. It's a subsidized price yes. and sell in your kiosk at the estate, you know. Yeah. And we were all under lockdown. So basically, most people were doing online. But That's if true. you were in estates where there are 100 flats, uh, 200 flats, you can be able to sell to those people instead of closing your shop in town. That's true. You see? Yeah. So those are some of the things that we are really gearing up to ensure that the women are picking up every other day. And of course, people like uh, IP Africa, mm -hmm. you will see that uh, they are, we are encouraging women to integrate their, um, their financing mm -hmm. in terms of you're a business person, you can be able to give me options in terms of how I can pay. Okay. I can pay through card. I can pay through M-Pesa. Mm. I can so pay. Just through. open it up a yes. bit. Yes. You just have one stop place where I can pay. Instead of I, I went to Nairobi Hospital the other day, and they say we are not picking cash. Mm. So I asked, okay. What so what what are what, the options? Wh what are the options? Yes. And I, I, I didn't even know. You see. Mm. So instead of now starting to go and looking for M-Pesa out there, you can use your card. You just swipe and go. Okay. You know. Yes. Uh, look at uh, companies like Adalabs mm -hmm. Africa again, mm -hmm. a very unique IT survey with so many youths who are being groomed in Westlands. And at the same time, women chamas can be able to save in a one stop shop online. Online? Yes. Wow. <laughs> online. You okay. have a chama, mm -hmm. then you are upload your, your chama details yes. then you can be able to be paying you don't have to be calling your chama members, members and, and they, they can disappeared be able to with your money yes. others. <laughs> and you can be able to s to see your statements on okay. how the payments are going for your chamas okay. those are some of the things that we are entrenching in our women in business if you're not able to join as a member then join as your chama or as your group okay we are open and we have all it takes to ensure that you can be able to benefit from whatever need that you, you have. have from market access mm -hmm. financial access we have an mou with some of the banks and some of the circles to 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 balance you know there are those who don't want to go to the banks mm -hmm. they would want to go to the circles mm -hmm. then we have all those options and negotiated products for women so that the women can continue growing. Told you guys, if you thought I was passionate, <laughs> this is it. We're taking a very short commercial break. If you have any questions whatsoever, Mary is the person for you. She will be answering all your questions. Send them in triple one triple four triple one. If you want to find out how you can join women in business, stick around for that as well. If you want to walk away with a notebook and a branded full circle with Mikali Cup, stick around for that as well. We'll be right back with Mary. Welcome back to Full Circle with Mikali. This conversation is going off air and now we're back. We'll talk about that later. But she's promised to plug me in with something amazing and you can get plugged as well. I'm talking about the CEO, Women in Business. We're all about the women this morning, talking about the women in business. And they're women who have brilliant ideas. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> we'll, we'll explain why we are laughing later. Let's just, you know. Women who have brilliant ideas. Yes. Um, 
they have the business acumen in them yes but then they do not have the finances for this do you work closely with like angel investors who help them or take the ideas from them fly and then they get a percentage of you know money that comes out of the business if the business idea was good enough yes we do okay and we do that by the virtue of the women coming to the fore ah. because sometimes women think uh, business is a secret so they don't have <laughs> to go <laughs> advertising everything yes. but it's because most people go speak to other people and then they run with their ideas but we uh, guide you and you get protected because there's a way you can also um, patent your ideas, patent your business, your companies, your name, your branding. Yes. You can patent. Yeah. You can patent that. Yeah. So if you need to go through those processes, you need to go through them before you speak to anybody. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to fear. And that's what we encourage the women. Before you come to us, know what you want. Okay. Because sometimes not everybody will think on your behalf. It's good to understand yourself and know which direction you want. Okay. Uh, be the person when you're asked what do you want, you can say, I want to market or I want to go in agribusiness. Mm -hmm. I want this. Not can you, you can just tell me anything. There's nothing called anything. Okay. You know? Yeah. There must be a direction that you want, want to, to go. You yes. must know where you want to go. Yes. Then let's so rope in this woman yes. who has the idea. It's probably running, and I'm sure you've met some women who are like this. Many They're of doing them. such an amazing job. They've started the businesses, mm. but they have no uh, ability to pitch, mm. to stand up in front of people and say, this is what I'm bringing to the table. Is, is there a certain of way to coach them, to help them, um, you know, find a way to be able to speak? That's... Okay, please. That is where our mentorship comes in. Okay. And it comes in terms of uh, of 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 our um our training sessions okay. which we do on a monthly basis. It takes 3 days. Of course, sometimes if there's um somebody to sponsor them, mm -hmm. then they'll come in for free, but when there's nobody to sponsor them, they'll have to part with a little money mm -hmm. and it can be a personalized coaching or it can be a class. Okay. With the COVID, we don't go beyond 10 to 20 people and uh, with the personalized coaching it can be through zoom it can be through uh, physical training so it depends on the one woman once we get to know your needs yes. then we get the right person mm -hmm. and the right office for that okay and of course the right department Great. then we can pick everything else from there whether it is from financing or just basic mentorship on management of, of your businesses or marketing because sometimes businesses we female businesses suffer because of lack of marketing we like hiding our even great ideas just in our in our houses yeah you find a woman is doing an, such an amazing job such an amazing idea but you'll never get out of your 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 village or yes. or your estate mm. so the the idea just remains there yeah we are encouraging them come out you know come to the events show up you know like now we are having the international women's day yes, on the 26th are. yes it's a good opportunity for you who is running a business and you have not had an expansive network to come and meet these people and sure that you have been able to link up with one or two that is how it starts other than just um, selling your wares in one estate and that is why even inside women in business, we are encouraging the inter-county trading. Yeah. And inter-county trading it comes with policies also. Mm -hmm. So it, it requires us also to reach out to the legislatures, the Council of Governors, to reduce on uh, basic things like double taxation. Mm. Because we want a seamless, seamless trading, seamless um, uh, flow of businesses okay. within and out of the counties. Great. Um, Mary, I have a few questions for you here. Uh, please, uh, Mukali, please tell Madame to help me enter in their group, um, a struggling mother. Mm. Um, so I think we th that will be tied in with, hello yes. Mukali, can we ask her what, uh, what about stay at home mom, any online job they can do? <laughs> um, 
first, I'll answer the first one. How to enter. How to join the women yes, in business. Yes, join is the word. If you are there and you want to join women in business, you just need to send an SMS to us. To just an SMS. Yes, send an SMS and it will register your name and we'll reach out to you and give you more details to 23406. Two three four zero six. Just send an, uh, that SMS. It gets into our database. Mm -hmm. We are now able to reach out to you, and of course, say what you want. If you have any question, just send the question through that code two three four zero six. Okay. And we can be able to uh, deal with you or handle your issues instantly. All right. Number two, um, stay at home, mom. Are there any online jobs available? I think they need to be part Number, of the... Yes. yes. That is part of mentorship. Yes. Because there, there, there is no reason whatsoever that um, a stay-at-home mom should look at herself as a lesser woman who, in doing business, you can actually make more money than ourselves when you're still at home. In fact, most people, today I have driven my car up to here. I've used fuel. I'll yes. drive back, I'll go home, I'll do one, two, three meetings here and there. But when you are at home, you only need your internet. Yes. I think internet in Kenya is very basic today. The maximum you should pay is about 5,000 for one user. Mm. You know, there are some that even go for 3,000. Yes, even 2,000. Yeah. Even 2,000, yeah. you see? Mm. So uh, I, I, again, um, the challenge comes back to you. What do you want to do? What is your expertise? Have you learned yourself? Have you known what you would want to be, probably? Okay. If we can start by answering such questions. Mikali, if you came to my office today, I already know you're in communication. Yeah. Uh, straight away, I would, I would know you would want to advance mm. through that line. Mm -hmm. So probably I would get you companies that would but in the go in, in the line with what with I am doing. What you're good mm. at. Mm. Because mm. it starts from there. Yes. If you, you're strongly feeling I love children. Then yeah. start a small um, sort of like holding baby parties. Care. Yeah, mm. baby care. Mm. Or even parties for children in your estate. Yeah. Women are getting children every other day. So you'll get clients. <laughs> Maria, I have, my time is running out and I have <laughs> yes. more questions for you here. <laughs> Hi, Mix uh, and Umso. Eh, okay. Eh. It's sour. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Esther here watching from Casa. I'm in love with this segment. Oh my, I'm so my kind of a woman. I'm so passionate about business. So I uh, so idealistic makes me connect and I'm so we talk more. I'm so <laughs> Yes, my dear. Be my mentor, personal <laughs> mentor, please. <laughs> I just love women who are shakers in the marketplace. <laughs> So we're going to be connecting you to her. She will leave us with her handles and maybe a number. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell her to send <laughs> the message to yes. 23406. 23406 is the number you will get through to and her. And they can also follow us on Twitter, mm -hmm. WIB Kenya. Yes. At WIB Kenya. And I think my Twitter account is Modoni Kenya. Yes. So... Um, we are also on Facebook, Women in Business Kenya. Okay. They can be able to find us on social media pages and also on email, info at wibkenya.org. Okay. Um, hmm. Hi, Mary. Uh, Mary M., thank you. You, you get me. I feel you. Uh, doing a great job every morning, giving us deep insights of every area of life. Would like to join Women in Business. I'm Masi from Meru, and I'm in business. Long live Switch TV, and you are welcome. Wow. 23406. Six. Yes. That is the number for you to join Women in Business. Absolutely. Parting shots, Mary. And let them remember to join us at the Hilton Hotel on the 26th of March. Say that again. 26th of March. Mm -hmm. They should join us at the Hilton Hotel for the International Women's Day. I know the International Women's Day date is actually 8th. Yes. But we want a little prominence and away from uh, a the, lot the of... Everything else that is happening on that So women day. in business will stand out on the 26th of March. That will be our day. Okay. And thereafter, we will come for the county visits. So you who is in the county and is notable to come to Nairobi, don't feel bad. If you just send us a message through that code, 
we are coming to your counties. Make sure you tell us which county you come from. Absolutely. So that when we are there, then mm -hmm. we are able to connect with you. Okay. And connect you with the leadership of the county also. Because right. we have the county chairs, we have the ward representatives. Mm -hmm. Some of them, they may also come and become leaders in women in business. That is true. So they should tell us, yes. what do you want? What do you want? You yes. need to know that. And that number, Mitan Sheshika, 23406. Just send in an SMS. It will register with your name. And those who are in, um, who are in agriculture and yes. especially poultry keeping, um, uh, pig pig uh, rearing mm -hmm. and um, cows, keeping yes. of cows, uh -huh. they can also contact us yes. so that we can link them up with the best products ah. for their um, animals. Okay, okay. So okay. that is very, very important. That is very, very important. Yes. Thank you, Mary, for coming through. Always loving her. Adding a Thank you too. Thank you. Uh, and you look really good. That's what we were laughing. I was just telling <laughs> Mary, you've lost so much weight. You look so good. And he was like, Mikali, I'll plug you. I'll plug you. So... <laughs>